Good afternoon, dear children. How are you all? Yes. As usual, you are excellent and happy at home. Healthy and happy at home. Okay. Today we will go to uh, Bihai, the book of from book of Bihai. We'll take lesson number six. That is my childhood. In the last lecture, we have seen a very detailed summary of this uh, lesson. Now, the detailed explanation, paragraph-wise explanation, we will see in this lesson. This lesson is written by a missile man, our 11th president of our India, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. As I said, I like this, you know. Every day if I read this, the fire of things, his stories, uh, Dr. Kalam's thoughts, if we see every day, you know, energy comes, power comes in us. So dear children, for you also, it, APJ Abdul Kalam always say that, seeing a small dream, seeing a small dream is a crime. We don't want to see, we don't want to do that cry. So he says that you should, you must see the big dream. And when you see that big dream, follow that dream, achieve that goal as Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam had achieved. When he was in 11 years old in the fifth standard, he saw, saw that the birds are flying and if the birds can fly, why can't I fly? And from that age of 11, he thought that, you know, his determination, persistence, hard work also is very important. And he got that what he wanted and he was the missile man, he was the first person of India. You also become you can also so we'll go about his childhood this extract this paragraph this childhood paragraph has taken from the big novel that is the wings of fire dear children read this book it's very good book to read you will get many 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 things from uh, that you know much things for the, that book okay so we'll start we will directly start from uh, paragraph wise. So paragraph number one. I was born into, this is autobiography. Okay, let me see that. This is the autobiography of uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. I was born into a middle class Tamil family in Ireland town of Rameshwaram in the East Wild Madras. East Wild Madras is a former. Okay, East Wild means a, it's a former. Former means previous Madras state. Nowadays what we are saying Madras, Chennai. Okay, huh? my father Janulabdin had neither much formal, formal education nor much wealth. Despite these disadvantages, he possessed great innate wisdom. He great innate wisdom. What is meant by innate? In one's nature. He has that nature. He did. He secured uh, uh, all these siblings, seven, eight siblings, a uh, secure childhood. Even though they were not wealthy, they were not educated. Still, his father, Jalaluddin, provided all things. Well, despite these disadvantages, he possessed great innate wisdom and a true generosity of spirit. He had an ideal helpmate, Mihu Janulipdin, his father, helpmate, wife, helpmate, wife, so Al Abdul Kalam's mother, helpmate in my mother, uh, Ashi, Ashiyama, okay, her, her name uh, was uh, Ashiyama. I do not recall the exact number of people she fed every day. So generous. Every day she used to feed our people also and sometimes from other side people also. So it is written by Abdul Kalam's writing in this. She fed every day but I am quite certain that far more outsider ate with us than all the members of our own family put together. Not only our but outsiders also used to come and eat food from our 
in a house. I was one of many children. A short boy uh, with rather un uh, undistinguished looks, you know, not that much good looking. No, un uh, undistinguished look looks, born to tall and handsome parents. His parents were very handsome and tall, but uh, Abdul Kalam was not that much, okay. Um, we lived in an ancestral house which was built in the middle of the 19th century. He was a fairly large pakka house. And it was a pakka house, even though old house, but that was a pakka house. Made of limestone and brick on the mass street in Rameshwaram. Now also if you go there, as I said, go now that is a historical place. Now we can say, now it is a history made by Dr. Abdul Kalam. It's a visitors, visitors every day they go there. Once they go to Chennai, once they go to Rameshwaram without seeing Abdul Kalam's house, they never come back. So you also take an opportunity whenever you go there, see that and come back. My austere uh, father used to avoid all essential comforts and uh, luxuries. However, all necessities were provided for in terms of food, medicine or clothes. Whatever we needed, father and mother all gave. The only the luxurious things were not there in my house. In fact, I would say mine a very secure child both materially and uh, emotionally and we want this on the children. If you are well with this, well and good. But only the paisa, only money is not, uh, we cannot count that, okay. So we need the humbleness as this is father, his parents were there. Second World War broke in 1939 when I was 8 years old. When he was 8 years old, that time the Second World War broke. And when he broke, I think so 1931 something, okay now? Yes. For reason, I have never been able to understand a sudden demand for tamarin seeds erupted in the market. I think so because of that, um, tamarin seeds uh, demanded more in the market. I used to collect the seeds and sell them to a provision shop on Mass Street. See, can understand. Family is not that much. Uh, means they were poor, not rich. So, Abdul Kala, when he was very small, he used to uh, sell the tamarind seed. And accordingly, he used to simultaneously used to study also, helping parents also, doing work and getting, fetching money for family. Okay. Uh, erupted the market. I used to collect the seeds and sell them to a provision shop on Mass Street. A day's collection would fetch me the princely sum of one anna. Princely sum, a large amount of those days. One anna is as anna is one type of currency. Okay. So those days. So he used to bring the princely sum. That is a large amount of money for his family. My brother-in-law uh, Jalaluddin would tell me stories about the war which I would later attempt to trace in the headlines in uh, Dinamani. Dinamani, the uh, newspaper is there. So then whatever the story his brother used to tell, he then afterward he read all the things in the newspaper. Our area being isolated was completely unaffected by the war. But soon India was forced to join the allied forces and something like a state of emergency declared allied forces. Allied forces means the armies of UK. The armies of UK, they were demanded that allied forces and something like a state of emergency was declared. The first casualty came in the form of the suspension, suspension orders came of the train halt at Rameshwaram station. The newspaper now had to be a bundle and thrown out from the moving train on the Rameshwaram road between Rameshwaram and 
धन स्कोडी सी दे एक्चुअली पेपर कम्स दे यूज टू थ्रो द पेपर न्यूज पेपर वी ऑलवेज गेट फ्रॉम द न्यू फ्रॉम मुंबई टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया द हिंदूज एंड द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस फ्रॉम वेर यू आर गेटिंग दे कम यूज टू कम ऑलवेज कम्स बाय ट्रेन ओनली और बाय बस ओनली सो लाइक दिस ओनली दे यूज टू थ्रो वेन द रामेश्वरम स्टेशन कम्स दे यूज टू थ्रो एंड देन दे यूज टू कलेक्ट एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूट इन द रामेश्वरम सिटी then the uh, the story that forced by my cousin samsuddin who distributed newspaper in rameshwaram to look for a helping hand to catch the bundles and as if naturally i fill the slot samsuddin helped me on my forced wages by keeping self distributing the paper he earned the first wages in his life at the age of 9 and 10 miss before 9 See, dear children, the children, those who are doing like this, also studied well. If hard work, determination, and the punctuality is there, we can achieve. We can go easily to moon also. Far away are planets also, but you must need that hard work and uh, determination about uh, that. That forced my cousin Samsuddin, who distributed newspaper in Rameshwaram, to look for a helping hand to catch the bundles. And as if naturally, I filled the slot. Samsuddin helped me earn my first wages. Half a century later, I can still feel the surge of pride in earning my own money for the first time. Fourth paragraph: Every child is born with some inherited characteristics into a specific socio-economic and emotional environment, and trained in a certain ways by figures of authority. You, me, all those who are there before me, God has when we are take take birth that time. All, only god gives some time of specific uh, you know uh, something that yes this child can do that and accordingly we get the development okay so it is written the say see every child is born with a some uh, some uh, inherited characteristics into a specific socio economic and emotional environment and trained in a certain ways by figures of authority our inner take honesty and the self discipline the very important things in discipline from my father from my mother our inner take faith in goodness and deep kindness and so did my three brothers and sisters as well I had three close friends in my childhood Ramananda Shastri Arvindan and Shiva Prakashan Ramananda Shastri Arvindan and the Shiva Prakashan all these boys were from orthodox hindu family very traditional hindu family we have seen in the summary very back see in the before the independence they were very you know casteism system was were there so here also like this hindu brahman as a children none of us were ever felt any difference among ourselves because of religious differences and upbringing all the three including abdul kalam excluding a miss like four they were playing they were studying they were sitting in the class in one bench they did not feel anything then what happened in fact ramananda shastri was a son of a pakshi lakshmana shastri pakshi lakshmana shastri was a very uh, priest in the temple in the rameshwaram temple the high high priest of the rameshwaram temple later he took over the priesthood what is mean by priesthood over here priesthood job of priest then he has taken as a job of a priest of the rameshwaram temple from his father arvindan went into the business of arranging transport for visiting pilgrims and the shiva prakashan became a catering contractor for the southern railways all the three when they were they childhood friends you know now what they are doing the abdul kalam has written this and you know what was abdul kalam yes the missile man the scientist the president of india 
so far 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 better than these students they are also good of course but better than these children during the annual shri sita ram kalyanam ceremony a family used to arrange boats with a special platform for carrying idols of the lord from the temple to the marriage site situated in the middle of the pond called ramatirtha which was near a house events from the ramayana ramayana and from the life of the prophet where the bedtime stories my mother and grandmother would tell the children, in our family see as i said rameshwaram is a island wherever you want to go from that place suppose this is a island from this place to anywhere if you want to go you have to uh, travel in the, uh, in the water only so when the marriage ceremony sita and ramayan so marriage ceremony they used to bring the idols uh, in his father's boat only and my mother grandmother they used to tell the stories about this to us one day when i was in the fifth standard at the rameshwaram elementary school a new teacher came to our class new teacher when he was in fifth standard i used to wear a cap which marked me as a muslim muslim people those who are very cutter muslim they never keep their head bare you know they keep one small uh, cap on their head okay now all the muslim people those who really follow the uh, strictly follow the muslim religion they always uh, keep so i used to wear a cap which marked me as a muslim and i always sat in the front row next to ramanada shastri ramanada shastri the son of the priest who okay na love pakshi ramanada uh, lakshmana shastri uh, who 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 the scared you know secretary ramanada shastri who the secretary the holy the secretary religious thread worn by hindu people especially the brahmin peoples they we use that thread no uh, and he understood that the new teacher understood that the new teacher could not uh, stomach a uh, you know uh, a hindu priest son sitting with a muslim boy he couldn't bear that in accordance with our social ranking as the new teacher saw it i was asked to go and sit on the back bench i felt very sad and so did ramanada shastri he looked utterly downcast as i shifted my seat in the last row the image of him weeping when i shifted to the last row felt lasting impression on me when that new teacher said that you sit the, as you are a muslim you cannot sit here go and sit back side when i shifted in the back side i found that my friend ramanada shastri was weeping and the tears rolled out and that was the impression on me after school we went home and told our respective all this whatever had happened they told their parents so ramanada shastri he felt very bad when he sat back he also went to his father and told all the story what had happened in the class after the school we went home and told our respective parents about the incident lakshmana shastri summoned the teacher see lakshmana shastri summoned the teacher summoned means gave order to the teacher who ramanada shastri is that priesthood gave the uh, order you know that notice to that uh, new teacher and in our presence or told the teacher that he should not spread the poison of social inequality don't spread the so poison of uh, uh, inequality uh, still and the communal intolerance in the minds of innocent children they he has given notice to that teacher okay he bluntly asked the teacher to either apologize or quit the school yeah so you said sorry apologize or you must say uh, right uh, let it quit the school if you don't want to say sorry you can leave school but you cannot spread like this communal uh, communal intolerance in the school and the uh, or quit the school and the island also leave the rameshwaram also 
Not only did the teacher regret his behavior, but the strong sense of conviction Lakshmana Shastri conveyed ultimately reformed the young teacher. Okay, and then, then here we can see uh, up to the lesson number, paragraph number seven. I think so, you understood this. Dear children, the rest part we will continue in the next lecture. Thank you and have a nice day.